Hello, welcome to this brief tutorial. I am Aeyong Tani Eno Ann and I am a medical laboratory scientist by profession. So during this period of uh, the coronavirus plaguing every nation in the world, I think that it is advisable for us all to stay home and stay safe to avoid the spread of this virus. So if you're a student and you're concerned about how your learning process is going to continue during this period of staying home and staying safe, I would like to show you two options that you can use and continue learning to um, get prepared for your examinations. It could be your class examinations, it could be your um, GCE, or it could be just getting just get to, to just continue learning because it's good to keep learning when you stay home for a very long time without learning you get kind of dull which i don't really want that to happen to you so i want to compare um and show you maybe two ways first of it is youtube you must have known a lot about youtube and um, another one is ohipopo ohipopo many of you would know about it but if not it's the first online learning platform which is customized for the Cameroonian system of education. So let's say YouTube, it's good um, for you to open YouTube, you just go to your browser, whichever you're using with your phone or computer, maybe Google Chrome or Opera Mini or Firefox or Internet Explorer or Edge browser it, or Safari if you're using iPhone or a Mac. So you just open youtube.com and um, you can search on this search box. So I want to take, for example, economics, demand and supply, for example. You can type here and you would have, I chose this particular uh, video because it has a lot of video views, 2 million video views. And let's see um, how the teacher teaches. This is Mr. Clifford. Welcome to ACDC Econ. Right now we're going to talk about demand. And since demand has to do with buyers and consumers, I'm going to explain it all. Consuming this gallon of milk. Yeah. Now when you plot these points, you're going to get a demand curve, which is like this. It's a downward sloping curve showing the law of demand. Now there are three reasons why the demand curve is downward sloping. It's the reason for the law So this teacher is very enthusiastic and he teaches the good concept of demand and supply with demonstration so the student can understand properly. Yes. And my only um, thing about this YouTube is that it is really good. But now, see, I want you to see. Two million students have watched this and they have good comments too about it. If, uh, if I enlarge this, you see great comments that the students left after watching this. So students left comments. This one said, I wish all teachers had the same enthusiasm and passion for teaching as you. It makes it easy for us students to understand and comprehend the material. He goes ahead to appreciate it. He said, the teacher has used... Um, um, just a few minutes to explain to him what his teacher used three weeks of 75 minutes lectures to explain to him. So this student really appreciated, but you need to know that this student is not a Cameroonian. So that's the thing about this. So the students actually who watch this are students who can understand this man's accent. And the third gives you some utility, but the law says eventually each additional gallon of milk that you consume is going to give you less. But mind you, not all Cameroonian students can understand this man, even though he's given the right knowledge. So another way I would recommend for you to study the same things is to go on to Ohipopo. Ohipopo is an online learning platform which is customized for Cameroonian system of education. So the teachers here actually used um, the Cameroonian GCE syllabus and produced your lesson. So you can see all sorts of lessons there. Um, advanced level English parts of speech, ordinary level English parts of speech, advanced level international trade. There you go. You can see advanced level ge Cameroon geography. I'm sure this is physical features. Okay, so let's go ahead. I want us to compare that same lesson, that same um, demand and supply ordinary level or even advanced level. So demand. Uh, 
and supply so i searched it and this is advanced level demand and supply okay i have opened it um so it opens like this very fast so you scroll down this is an introduction video just telling you why you should buy this lesson and it's very affordable it's 1475 but this lesson contains um video lectures for all the subtopics i can see here the concept of demand the concept of demand continues um the demand curve reasons why the demand curve slopes downwards from left to right a change in quantity demand so it has all the subtopics in video forms go to supply all the subtopics here everything equilibrium everything and more lessons everything so demand and supply is a very bulky lesson which i think in some schools it uses it takes about three months to teach demand and supply let me say two to three months to teach this and um you have it here and it costs just 1475 francs and if you look through um it also has the notes okay um i'm going to show you how So at Ohipopo, let's see how the lessons are. Let's take, for example, the concept of demand. And let's see. So it opens like this. The concept. The concept. Of demand. This one we are talking about demand. So let's start with the demand. So this is how. What is demand? This is a very uh, before we move on. This is a very difficult topic in exam. So you see here, the student is focused on the board. The teacher is explaining and writing on the board. You get it. Just the same way it is done in classroom. In the class. So these are all the topics here, all the subtopics here. And even though it is not free, I think it is very affordable because to pay 1,475 francs to study, something you could study at school for like how many months, for like uh, two months, all here. And um, the student can st study like this. And while the student is studying, if they have any questions, they just scroll down onto these comments and then type a comment like um, hello teacher I did not understand stand maybe something about demand and supply I don't understand what demand is so and then the student posts post the comment the teacher will receive it wherever he is and then send a reply to the student so you're 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 buying this course you're buying the whole teacher you see So the student can forward the lesson to maybe where he wants it to go to. The student can backward it. The student has a right to, to forward, backward and control the lesson. So that's, I really recommend students to use any of these two, but I will prefer that students use Ohipopo because Ohipopo is um, very customized for Cameroonian learning and um, they have their teacher there they can ask questions they have the notes there when you're done with a particular subtopic you click complete and go on to the next one and the notes are there and um, everything so i think this is more advantageous for the students of cameroon so stay home, study with any of the platforms and get prepared for your um, examinations. With Ohipopo, one other advantage also is that there is a quiz. So you see this demand and supply quiz. 
It contains 50 GC standard MCQ. So the students can answer this question and the system marks and gives them their score immediately. And then they can retake the quiz because they, they can also see the questions, they feel, the answers, the correct answers. And also um, they can retake the quiz as many times as they want to. So it's very advantageous to use. It's just as though you're in class. You can get lost as though you're in class. You just feel as though you're in class. So study with your books and pens. You have the teacher all day to your disposal. All right.